and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am going to be making a soap using this awesome fragrance from Crafter's Choice, a wholesale supply plus is where I got it, called Applejack and Peel. And it smells really good. It's got a kind of a warm apple, um, cinnamony sort of scent to it. And so I was just trying to think of what colors I wanted to use and I couldn't decide, so I'm gonna use a whole bunch of colors. <laughs> We're gonna do a very swirly apple thing. So the first thing is a uh, copper, it's a lip safe mica, but it's just a copper red. And I thought that was sort of cute. I'm going to do a cappuccino mica in there too to sort of punch up the colors. And then I have two greens, this Celadon green from Nurture Soap and this Cabin Fever and it's in the green range. So those four colors are gonna be my swirly goodness. And then I have my sugar pearls again. And for the, I'm gonna use, I think I'll use the big ones and the little ones, cause they have sort of the color range that I'm gonna be swirling in this soap. So I'm gonna pull everything together for my liquid portion. I'm going to be using some aloe vera juice. Uh, and Tussa Silk Fibers, and that'll be my lye solution. And I'll get everything pulled together and we'll come back and make some Applejack and Peel soap. Also, if you enjoy watching my videos, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. That would be awesome. And I'm on Instagram and Facebook. If you want more up-to-date soaping inspiration and what's going on in the soap studio, check that out too. Alrighty, ready to move forward. And sorry about the big pan here that you can't see through, but what I have in here are my oils and butters. Uh, kale and clay, colloidal oats, and my fragrance, the apple jack and peel. It's already in there. And here I have my aloe vera juice and tussa silk, and I'm going to add my sodium lactate in here. Just a little dollop. There we go. And again, the sodium lactate uh, is basically um, a salt derivative and it hardens the bar so that it unmolds easier. So I'm going to hand stir this in again because I've got all my colors that I want to add um, and I'm going to uh, hopefully we'll do a drop swirl and a hanger. We'll see if everything behaves. That's the plan if everything behaves. <laughs> One of the things that I love about soaping is that it's always kind of exciting and you never know what you're gonna get till you cut into it and every time I soap, it's an adventure. I love it, creativity and it's fun.
All right, so the piping bag burst because this is getting really thick. So <laughs> I'm literally going to smush this around and put my little sprinkles on and hope that it's not too hideous on top. This is like goodness. So piping consistency, very important. back the next day with our Applejack and Peel with the really wonky top situation going on. So again, what happened to recap is I got the uh, soap in the piping bags and it firmed up really fast and the piping bag actually burst on the side. And so I ended up just scraping it all out on here, mashing it with a spoon and sort of texturizing and then putting my little sugar pearls on top. So let's cut into this and see what we've got. It's not bad, and I think the individual bars are gonna look pretty good, so um, I'm hopeful. Let's get in here and see how it's going inside. I really like how the swirls came out um, and the top is cute so uh, I'm very happy with the overall and you can see the two different color greens and the red in there I'm just I think it's really pretty